Welcome to Growing Medicinal Cabbage. I would like to start by stating that no part of this video is instructional in any way. I am not a professional. This is merely intended to be a vlog. One man's journey, to go from amateur to hopefully, master at the art of growing fine cabbage. To anyone who is watching this thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, and get notified by ringing that bell. I plan to upload at least once a day, so if you're enjoying my grow vlogs so far you won't want to miss those future videos. I started this channel earlier today and made a video of what is currently going on in room number 1, upon looking through my older videos that I took without any thought of YouTube in mind. I realized I had a pretty good chunk of harvest footage for room number 2, and I wanted to share it with you guys. This setup is pretty similar to room number 1 but it is a larger 20 foot by 20 foot space so hanging from the ceiling we have 4 Spider Farmer SF4000 LED grow lights. It is run on a similar reverse osmosis filter into a 55 gallon drum via an ordinary toilet float. Of course with shut off for in between filling, and a second storage container outside for outside plants to make sure we waste as little water as possible and constant aeration in the 55-gallon drum. This room also has a much larger air conditioning unit and an 8-inch AC infinity duct fan to draw off heat, as well as a hurricane fan to ensure airflow. I don't have any footage of the hurricane at the moment, I will get some next time I'm there and post an update. This room was kept in 18 hours of light and 6 hours of darkness for around 2 months from clone or re-vegetation post-harvest. You can see some of the plants in this video being prepared for revegetation some for a third time. It is one of our favorite ways to save labor, or save a cultivar or phenotype that we did not clone, although some plants simply refuse to cooperate and it can be a bit of a finicky process. In this video you can see me working my way through a wet trim, on this room which again has a few different cultivars in it. We like to pick all major leaf structure off the plants before cutting them almost to the bottom. This makes post-harvest and dry trim easier as well as lowering the potential for post-harvest complications to occur. Leaving some bud and leaf mass for new vegetative structure to form out of helps to facilitate the revegetation process. Once the light cycle is flipped back to a standard 18 hours of light and 6 hours of darkness for vegetative growth. Though sometimes a plant left to its own devices will revegetate with no leaf matter left. Then we bagged it all up to be taken over to the dry room. To be hung up in a humidity and temp controlled space. I will be doing full dry and cure related videos in the future. As well as videos in each of our other grow rooms. I also have a few other videos I will be putting together over the coming days from reels of footage taken with no thought of YouTube in mind but that I think YouTube may find interesting. I was excited to find these videos because it puts me a little bit ahead as far as content goes, in case anyone is interested in these vlogs. Much of that footage comes from my outdoor grows, and features my greenhouse and field space. I am hoping to do some fun videos on the effects of supplemental lighting outside in the future as well. Here it is a necessity due to a lack of a time of year where the plants ever reach above 15 hours of light in the natural outdoor light cycle. Anything you put outside here goes straight to flower. So you'll hopefully be joining me as I try to achieve enough light to keep them vegetative with solar lighting. This and many more fun videos, possibly even some uncabbage related gardening content. If you like this video please like subscribe and ring that bell so you'll know when I upload almost before I do.